hello students welcome to the course on operating system in this discussion we will have an overview of operating system management this is a kazi faculty department of csc aml and ds kits college of engineering in our previous or elementary video we have come across what is operating system its components and services with that information we need to know how there is a transition of request from user to kernel mode in the given figure it is seen there is a user process and a kernel process a user process refers to a user program and a kernel is a kernel uh, a kernel is a program or a core program of an operating system so this diagram represents a communication between a user process and a kernel process so it so it is seen in the diagram that as as soon as the user process starts executing a system call is sent to a kernel so a system call is also program which is sent to a kernel which can also be called as an interrupt now kernel that is the core program of a operating system receives the request sends back an interrupt telling that the system call request of a user can be executed and the return is sent to the user so with this brief architecture the request and response between a user process and a kernel process is executed you can see that their mode bit equal to 0 is given mode bit is equal to 0 means that is a request it's like a flag if it is 0 it is request now the same mode bit is turned to 1 indicating that the request from the user process has been accepted so this is a glimpse of how a transition from user to kernel occurs and in this diagram it is just for one request but in real time or in a practical scenario there are multiple requests that the kernel of an operating system addresses now one of the primary management of operating system is process management so what is it and how does it help a user so operating system facilitates the process management by creating and deleting both system and user processes it can create a process it can delete a process it can suspend a process it can resume a process it's like suppose if i am executing some tasks from new i can create its process i want to pause it i can pause it i want to pause it for a long time it can be suspended i want to resume it or revert back to it and continue its execution i can resume it further it also facilitates process synchronization two process can sync themselves so that they can have better access to resources with the help of process communication so as said it provides mechanisms for process synchronization it provides mechanism for process communication and also for deadlock handling now deadlock is a new element here at this moment i would address it as a 
a cycle of dependency that is created between the processes can be avoided with the use of operating system services. For example, if P1 is dependent, if process P1 is dependent on P2 and if process P2 is dependent on P3 and if process P3 is dependent on P1, you can note the dependency amongst each other. Now, there is a cycle here which creates a which creates a lock situation which is called as a deadlock in operating system terminology so this kind of scenarios can be addressed with some of the algorithms in operating system or by operating system services further memory management as in our previous video we have seen main memory and secondary memory. Now, all data in memory, in memory before and after processing can be managed by, is managed by operating system. The instructions are executed with the help of operating system. Memory management optimization is done. This is an important concern. If all the information is brought into memory, the memory or the, the main memory may not be properly utilized. So, keeping frequent request elements in cache and then the other information in main memory will continue to optimize this utilization between memory and CPU in a better or an optimal way. So, other managed memory management activities are the keeping the uh, track, which part of memory is used, then knowing whether the process is executing or no in terms of whether it is being allocated or being deallocated its memory space. So, this is how uh, the operating system services help or provide memory management. Further, storage management. Now, here in the in the previous slide it was main memory management here the storage management can be referred to as a secondary storage management as well whether the device is a disk or a drive or a tra tape drive etc the information from that external device or the storage secondary storage device is given for execution to the processor with the help of operating system so, any information that is be taken can be called as a file. Hence, operating system also facilitates file system management. Some of the management services here include creating and deleting of files or directories, editing or manipulating the files and directories, mapping the files onto the secondary storage and backing up them also. So, the focus here is on three management services that is process management, memory management which is main memory management as well as storage management which is a secondary storage management. With the interconnection of the services of process, main memory and secondary storage, a user is able to execute a task and get the result by the help of these operating system services. So, this is the reflection point of this particular discussion of operating system management. So, at this point, I would conclude saying how there is a linkage between a process being a process loaded into memory by the processor and if required, the information to be taken from the CPU. So, thank you.